welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine with Forge in Minecraft 1.16.4. So basically how you can get Optifine with other mods in Minecraft. We're going to be going over every single step of doing this from downloading Optifine to downloading and getting Forge to then adding Optifine to Forge. It's all going to be covered. However, I'll also show you and, and mention how to add mods via, you know, with Optifine. However, it's, it's very, very simple. It's the same way you would normally install mods in Minecraft. So yeah, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and do this first. We're going to have more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Start your very own Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have to start our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex in the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Optifine up and running with Forge. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our Optifine tutorial for getting Optifine without Forge, but the reason we're here is we want to click on this green download Optifine link. That'll take you off to Optifine's official download page where you want to find Minecraft 1.16.4 here. If it's not up here at the top, you can click show all versions and find it down here. But for us, it's up here at the top, then come out of that first version and click on the mirror button. Click on mirror. Mirror, right here, this mirror link. When you click on that, it's then going to take you off to this download page where we do have this purple download button here. Go ahead and click on that, and Optifine will download automatically in the bottom left. Am I loading an ad like this? But Optifine is downloading. As long as it has Optifine in the bottom left, you can go ahead and keep it on Google Chrome. It'll pop up in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Again, as long as it has Optifine in the title, you're good to save the file. Now we aren't done downloading just yet, we still need to download Forge. You can find Forge linked at the third link down below. And this is our Forge tutorial. If we do go too fast here, you can go through this tutorial to get Forge installed. However, I'm going to be showing you everything in this video. Once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button. That takes us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.4 is selected. As you can see, it says MC 1.16.4 here, so we know that it is. But if it's not, click on 1.16 on the left-hand side, and then click on 1.16.4. Once you see this here, we can come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer button. Again, under Download Recommended, click on Installer. That doesn't take us off to Add Focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page. Not a single button whatsoever on this page. Stop it. Wait seven seconds or eight seconds, something like that, and then eventually a red skip button will appear in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. We just clicked it, and in the bottom left, Forge starts downloading. So because it has Forge in the title, you're good to keep it. If it doesn't, discard it and click that red skip button. Why'd you click something else on this page? Only click the red skip button in the top right. Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the server screen. Again, save to save as long as it has Forge in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Optifine and Forge. So here it is. We have Optifine here and Forge. If he's on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on the little Windows icon in the top or bottom left. And then type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click Click on that, and then in here you will find Optifine and Forge. You can drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. However, if your Java files don't look like this, they don't look like these Coffee Cup logos, no worries. I will show you how to fix that, but let's go ahead and try to open up Forge first. To do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and if you have Java, awesome. Click Java and click OK. But if you don't have Java, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to do this. Come here and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Optifine is a Minecraft mod, so we need to download this version of Java. Simple three-step tutorial. Then you should be able to open up Forge. However, if for whatever reason you still can't, or if your Java logos don't look like mine, you need to run the jar fix, which you can find here. And as you can see, this is how to use the jar fix to repair jar files on your computer. What this is going to do is take the dot jars on your computer and link them to Java once again, fixing those logos and finally allowing you to open them. Nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Forge Mod System Installer, where all you want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. That's then going to go through, install Forge, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge up and running, and then once it does that, it's super easy to install Optifine. Well, kind of. We have to make sure we open up Minecraft with Forge, but then once we do that, the, the, the hard part's over. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this open up. As you can see, it's building. It looks like it's frozen. looks like it's not doing anything, but I unsure, or assure you that it is. It is working. It will eventually continue on, even though it says it's done, and then it will eventually come up and say successfully installed Client Profile Forge. We can go ahead and click OK. That means it's worked. If it doesn't work, by the way, most likely you need to go play Minecraft 1.16.4 with no mods, no anything, come back and it should work. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you go ahead and hit that play button, we want to make sure the Forge profile is selected. So if you look down here in the bottom left, ours is. Go ahead and click on that little arrow. And if you have the Forge profile here, go ahead and click on it. As long as it says 1.16.4-Forge under it, you're going to click play. But what if yours doesn't say that? Or what if you don't have a Forge profile at all? Well, in that case, what you want to do is come up here to the top and click on the Installations tab. And then click on this plus new button. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. 
Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.4 Grief Protected Survival with Medieval Survivor having 30 custom quests, an amazing player base economy, extremely incredible, and an aquatic survival server with a slash shop based economy that is just absolutely incredible. And then on top of that, we do have custom skyblock with huge updates coming very, very soon. So come play this. Playdownbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Now let's go ahead and clear on this version drop down box here. Then we want to go ahead and find release 1.16.4 Dash Forge. Mine's up here towards the top, but you may have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find yours. But somewhere on this list, you will find release 1.16.4 Dash Forge. When you do find it, go ahead and click on it. I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing it so you can see better in game. We're making a video after all. Then we can go ahead and click create. Then we have this new playdownbreakdowncraft.com profile. Under it, it says 1.16.4 Forge. That means you can go ahead and hover over this profile and click that green play button. Now Minecraft will open up with Forge is installed. But that's not all of it, right? Now we need to install Optifine. Luckily, the hard part is over. If you're opening up Forge with or opening up Minecraft with Forge, the hard part is over. It's easy, smooth sailing from this point on. So you can see Forge is loading itself up. Then Minecraft opens up and it's going to go ahead and load on in with Forge, which is pretty cool. And then once this is loaded up, we will be on the main menu. I'll do a quick jump cut and see you there. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. From here, we just want to go ahead and click on the Mods tab. And then if we click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left, we'll be able to install Optifine. Again, that was just click on the Mods tab from the main menu and click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That then opens up the Mods folder right like this. And to install Optifine into Forge, all we need to do is take our Mods folder, or Optifine and drag and drop it into the Mods folder. Again, that is open the Mods folder and drag and drop Optifine into the Mods folder, just like you would any other Minecraft mod. Any other mods you want to install with Optifine, just drag and drop those into this mods folder as well, and you should be good to go. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, it's not going to be here. We can click Done, click on Mine, it's not going to be here, and then we can click Wit Game. And as a matter of fact, it's never going to be there, but I'll explain that here in a second. Now, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again, and then we want to come down here to the bottom left, make sure we're selecting our PlayDarkBreakdownCraft.com profile or our Forge profile, whichever one has 1.16.4 Forge under it, and then click Play. And now, Minecraft's going to open up with Optifine installed. It's that quick, that easy. And as you can see, I should be able to see here that Optifine doesn't appear. Now, that might break your brain if you are used to Forge mods. And a lot of people think Optifine's not working because it doesn't appear there. But I promise it is. And I'll show you that once we get in game. Optifine's a weird mod. It's not natively, per se, compatible with Opti or with Forge. It is, but it it doesn't link in like normal mods. It, opti it does things different and actually links into Minecraft directly when you're opening. So, long story short, is if you go to mods, you won't find Optifine here. It's not going to appear there. However, if you click on options and go into video settings, you'll see Optifine is suddenly loaded in the bottom left and you have all of the options you would expect, including shaders, right? Including the ability to do crazy view distances, including the ability to change your graphics, including the ability to change your animations. All of that stuff can be done now, just like Optifine normally would be able to, even though it doesn't appear in the mods tab. So again, Optifine will never appear in your mods tab. But if you go into options and video settings, you'll be able to do all the things you expect to be able to do with Optifine. We go ahead and jump into the best server in the multiverse, playdownbreakdowncraft.com. Again, Green Protect Survival, custom skyblock, 142 players online right now. Come play with us. Playdownbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. But nevertheless, we are currently in our, I think, a medieval survival server. No, we are on our skyblock server. Let's go ahead and actually go over to a medieval survival server, Medieval North Vale, for example. And on this server, we'll be able to see that we have Optifine installed. We can do things like look around. We've got these increased textures. They're not that great to be truthful with you, but we can do things like come in here and oops, we can come in here and okay, there we go. Finish loading. We come in here to video settings and we can come and do things like details, turn the clouds on and off, for example, turn those on fancy. We can turn the trees on fancy, make those look a little better. Come in here and turn the cloud height at 100. Or we'll lower our cloud. You see, you can kind of see them moving in the background there. We've got our stars on. Let's see, what else can we do? Entity distance, turn that down a bit. Go ahead and turn the sky on. Awesome stuff like that. We can come in here and change so many different things and make it just look better, right? So we can turn custom sky on, better grass on fancy, random entities turned on, turn on all of this stuff, and it, it's reloading now. Sorry, but yeah, do you get the point? You can go in here and edit all this stuff, and if we go back, it should look a bit different, hopefully. Hopefully the leaves specifically look a tad bit better. If you come back here and click done, done, back to game. Yeah, those leaves look a lot better. And that was all done via Optifine. So there you have it. If you have any questions, you also can see the texture transitions and things like that. But nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Enjoy Optifine with Forge in Minecraft 1.16.4. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, we have Green Protected Survival. This is our medieval survival server. Here you'll find an awesome player-based economy. If you want a slash shop-based economy, Aquatic Survival is where we're going to be able to go to do that. And then again, we have a custom Skyblock server with so many new things coming with, you know, quests and awesome stuff with a new Skyblock server on the way. So come play with us. Play at our breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. But my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.